Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You might be interested in figuring out how to mine to your own node that you do run at home on your Start9 node. So let's discover that. Hey guys, Wonklo here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a really great day. In today's tutorial, do we want to take a look on how you can actually set up your own pool in this tutorial public pool on your Start9 node. The first thing that you actually do need is a Start9 node and I hope that you do have one or that you're planning to set up yourself one. It's super easy, straightforward and it adds up to your own privacy if you do use it, for example, with your own Lightning node or with mempool or if you use it for your wallets such as Sparrow or any other hardware wallet to connect to this instead of any public node out there, which is just an increasement for your privacy. So, but needless to say, we are here because we have bit axes and we are searching for a solution how to mine at home. Maybe you have already seen my tutorial for how to set up public pool on Umbrel. It's just like two button click install and then you can mine to your Umbrel node. But a couple of you folks are not really into Umbrel like myself. I'm not into it and I don't like to intend to use it. So we are here on start nine and I want to discover with you the things on how to do it. Hopefully you already understood of how to set up all your certificates and how to set up an SSH connection to your node because in the end you need to do that. If you don't just go over to system and click on SSH in there, you can manage the SSH tokens that you do have and you can enable an SSH connection to your node. If you have already done so, then you can open up your terminal and what you want to write in it is SSH, then start nine and the name of your device. In my example, it's louder students. But what we actually want to do is we want to type in a couple of commands. But before I confuse you with that, let's hop over to the marketplace. We need to change to the community registry. And in here, if we click on Bitcoin, we see there is public pool. It is already installed on my node, but I want to show you how you can do that yourself. So let's click on that. And before we dive into this, I need to open up another tab on GitHub from Rem Kuros. I hope I do pronounce everything here correct. He wrapped up public pool for start OS. It's just beautiful. Thanks for doing that. And it seems like he's occasionally updating it. The last one was two months ago. So everything seems to be smooth on this end. So that's really good. I've been mining to my public pool instance on start nine now for a couple of days. And I need to say, I do really like it. Sometimes I do hop over to other solo pools, but usually I do mine to my own pool at home. So let's go back to start OS and let's click on this. The first thing is you do recognize you can choose Bitcoin Nots or Bitcoin Core. Whatever you do use, you can use everything. Like both of these dependencies are viable and you can use them. But what we are actually interested in is going over after we have installed it, we can click on view installed and we do see there is a instruction here. We need to click on that and in here it goes straight into, hey guys, we need to use a couple of commands. So today is basically just a copy and paste session. What we want to do is we want to type in sudo dash i which gives us root privileges and if we haven't done so we need to use this command here and paste it in here what this will do it will basically see rooted the environment and it makes a couple of changes for you so that you do can use your node on your local network instead of connecting to it over the tor network if you do use start nine already, you do have noticed every time you open up a new service that you do have installed, you get a onion address, which is great because it enhances your privacy, but also it lacks in the feature of using it locally. By doing this with the following commands that we will use after that, it will take a while. It will do a couple of things in the background I will not run all of these commands, but I will give you a way of understanding on how to use them. So the first thing that we need to do is paste in this command and then we would press enter. 
the next thing that we need to do is we need to install simple proxy and simple proxy is basically exactly doing that what i just told you it is routing traffic to your local network so that you can use it because if you would for example try to connect your bitx to your public pool that you do run on start nine it would work but only over the onion network which is slow and therefore we don't want to use that what we want to do is we want to open up a port locally so that we can use it so we need to write it in here apt update and apt install simple proxy dash y the dash y is just an acceptor at the end so with that if i would now press enter it would actually install simple proxy after you've done so it probably takes a couple of seconds and it does a couple of things we need to copy all of these so from the cat from the cat all the way down to the eol we copy all of them then we go over here and we just paste it in here don't modify anything and we do see what does it do it goes into the lib system d system simple proxy stratum servers and what it does is it basically puts in information in there and these are the information that it puts in here so we do have the unit which does give a quick description which is just a stratum forward uh, we tell it okay use the podman service because start nine relies on podman instead of docker for plenty of reasons and then it actually gives here the service on this end here it, it tells all right it's a simple service it always restarts it restarts after three seconds and here are a couple of interesting things so what it does it gives over a couple of system ctl environmental variables such as your ip that it needs to route uh, the default road it needs to go as well as where to put everything and the next one is just basically the start section all right start simple proxy with my current ip address on port 3333 and we route it to the public embassy embassy installation on port 3333 and there you go you just would need to press enter now and here comes the beauty it will take a couple of seconds but it also states this down here after you've done so and it wrote it in there you need to write in systemctl enable simple proxy stratum so we would copy this paste it in here and it would take a couple of seconds but it states clearly do not close the ssh window manually actually type exit and let it reboot so you enable the servers with this command here and i go back into my command line here we would paste it in here we would enable it and after that what we would need to do is we would need to type in exit what it would do is it will then apply all the changes that we have done earlier only if you do them all in this specific specific order and it will reboot the machine after your machine has been rebooted wait a couple of seconds so that the bitcoin installation that you do have whether it's nuts or whether it is core boots up again and public pool is also available then what you probably will see is that it lacks on the configuration what you need to do is you need to figure out the ip address of your device and we need to go into the configuration so we click on config and you don't need to change anything on the rpc timeout you also don't need to change anything on public pool but what i would recommend you to do is paste in here the ip address i i don't really recommend it you need to do it paste in your ip address of the device in my case it is 10.0.90.41 and save it after that you can actually click on start and this service would start up give it a couple of seconds and then it should look like something like this so now you do have your own public pool instance running at home locally on your start nine node without the need to connect to other pools that you don't like or don't trust and you can just mine to your own home lab which is beautiful I hope that wraps everything up for you to know to understand on how to set everything up if you do enjoy today's video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any further videos thanks for watching and see you on the next one